comics have expanded over the past 75 years or so, but not with just companies or adaptations, but also within the collective universes and multiverses. For years, you've seen your favorite heroes battle wild enemies on different worlds and other dimensions, and sometimes they're inner demons. It's common that people can relate to these characters. Take a look at your local comic shop lately. On the shelves, you can find new and younger characters added to rosters such as Marvels that portray the LGBTQ+, non-binaries, Muslim, etc. However, accompanied were voices of concern and more vocally, of disdain, calling it pandering, <laughs> virtue signaling, SJW bullshit. Some may think, well, why would somebody need to see themselves in a fictional character? That seems weak to feel validated by something so trivial. What if I told you that representation is important? Imagine a young child going to the movies. After watching a decade of a franchise, finally seeing why other people relate to certain characters. Finding a hero they see themselves in. For some, recently, that was Black Panther. Let me show you another example. Meet Emery Douglas. Douglas was incarcerated in a youth training facility in California where he learned the art of printing. He later went to study graphic design in San Francisco where he developed a passion for design and activism and later was noticed by the Black Panther Party. Emery's art does not only portray the party's agenda, but by doing so, depicting strong black people, re-imaging the way they see themselves and inspiring change. In an interview from the New York Times, Angelica McKinley and Giovanni Russinello sat with Emery, along with Jordan Castile and Fahamu Peku, who were inspired by Douglas, to talk about his work. On the piece, All the Power to the People, Peku was quoted saying, These images worked to operate on a different psychological register that would get into people's minds and help them not just read about themselves, but see themselves as empowered, as agents of change. We may be thinking, well, what does this have to do with a Marvel movie? Well, if a flyer in the 60s has the ability to manifest confidence and empowerment, imagine what a billion dollar industry with a farther reach can do. Now, sure, there are many stories and movies out there that portray a protagonist from a minority group, However, industries have been ran by white men since the dawn of mass entertainment, and often attempts to show diversity have been... inaccurate? Oh, sexy girlfriend! Stop. And opportunities for minority creators have been limited. Representation not only matters with the concept of self, but also the lifestyles that are being seen from outside societies. From that same article from the New York Times mentioned earlier, Paku quoted, If we wait for somebody else to tell our story, they're going to paint a picture of us that doesn't reflect our values. Now, Black Panther was obviously a huge opportunity and a wild success, but that still is an example of limited opportunity. I've done seven Marvel movies now. Every producer, every director, every stunt person, every costume designer, every PA, every single person has been white. When you do Black Panther, you have a black director, black producer, you have a black costume designer, you have a black stunt choreographer, you have a black, and I'm like, that's more racist. Because if you only can hire the black people for the black movie, are you saying they're not good enough when you have a mostly white cast? It's important that we have these stories told by marginalized people, by their people, but it's also important to allow them to tell other stories and not just fit them in a box or category. Representation matters, especially in America, where TV and movies are so ingrained in our expression of ourselves. Life imitates art more than art imitates life. What is viewed by society reflects its people and perpetuates their self-image and the image others see them. If people see themselves on screen or on page, as well as behind the scenes, as small as it may seem, it makes an impact and shows that maybe the voices that were being drowned out before are finally being heard.